you're trying to build backlinks. And when you do get a few people to link to you, you're like, hey, my rankings aren't going up and I'm not getting any traffic. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna to share with you why the links you're building aren't bringing you enough traffic and what you should do instead. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. That way when you release more SEO tips like this, you'll get notified. Quick question for you. How many visitors per month are you generating from your referral traffic? Is it 500, is it 1,000, 10,000? Guess how many visitors I'm getting? I'm getting over 300,000 visitors per month just in referral traffic, and the tactics I'm gonna teach you today is gonna help you get more traffic. You're probably not gonna get the same results as me, but you'll get way more than what you're currently getting. So how did I do this, and how can you get similar results? Step one. Go take all your competitor URLs and put them into Ubersuggest. When you put them into Ubersuggest, you'll see the total backlinks that your competitors have, who's linking to them, their top pages. This will give you a good idea of, hey, who's linking to them? Hey, how much traffic are they getting? Typically, the competitors that are getting more traffic, they're not just getting it from search, it's that they have a lot of backlinks as well, and the sites that are linking to them are also driving traffic. Step two, I want you to click on top pages and this will show you the most popular pieces of content on your competitor's site. Now go back over to your site and see, hey, are any of their top pages related to the piece of content that I have on my site? Well, if they are, great. Now, step three, I want you to click view all under their backlink count. On this page, it'll show you all the people that are linking to their content. Next step, email them all the people who are linking to them. Hey John, I noticed you linked to X, Y, and Z article. I have a similar one that just came out, but mine covered one, two, and three that theirs didn't. Cheers, Neil. The whole purpose of this is to show, hey, you're linking to someone else in the same space, has a similar article, but mine's better. So that's why you should link to me. When you do that, what you'll find is, you're not just getting more backlinks, but you're getting backlinks that drive traffic. Because if your competitors are getting a lot of traffic and those pages are popular, typically those links are also driving good traffic as well. Step five, I want you to take all your most popular competitors and put it into the backlinks report into Ubersuggest. This will show you a laundry list of all the people that are linking to your competitors. Look for patterns. You'll start seeing multiple people, multiple sites who are linking to all of your competitors. If you see the same person over and over again linking to three, four, five of your competitors and you hit them up and ask them to link to you, what do you think is gonna happen? They're probably gonna be willing to link to you as well. Because if someone links to three or four or five of your competitors, why wouldn't they also link to you as well? It's not like they have any bias. They can't be a competitor because they're linking to all your other competitors, so they should also link to you as well. And by sending them a similar email discussing how you have the same type of content, you'll be able to get them to link to you as well. And when you're seeing all the people that are linking to your competition and you're seeing all the similarities, you also want to take that URL and type it back into Uber Suggest and look at their traffic overview. If they have more traffic and you get links from them, they're going to drive you more traffic than if you type in a URL into Uber Suggest and it shows you they have no traffic and you convince that site to link to you. In other words, you want the the sites that have traffic to link to you. You shouldn't care if a site has very little traffic links to you or not because a site that has very little traffic isn't going to do well for you. Follow those tips and you're going to notice that not only your Google ranking is going to go up, but you're also going to be getting more search and referral traffic. If you need help with your link building or SEO, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the video, like it, leave a comment below and I'll answer it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.